Bulisa kwa bukeli bonke makaya ikamala mtobani kimbusha libuzani and we bring you refining perspectives thank you so much for tuning in once again namhlanje we'll be talking about finding meaning meaning yes in the previous episode we talked about mm. resilience, resilience yeah. and why resilience is important is important yo. yeah <laughs> you know um and one of the things that kept on reoccurring yeah, in our in conversation, conversation yeah. it was the importance of meaning mm. finding meaning mm. living a life that has a meaning yeah. and and uh, i dare to say that finding meaning also brings along caring responsibility yeah and that is what we'll be talking about today why is it important that you find meaning and how it will actually add on positively in, in your, your life. life so please do stay tuned bizo makazi omalume bonga bantu ukuthi baze to the round table and watch refining perspectives we'll be right back Abugele Bakai, we would like to encourage you to please log on to YouTube and Instagram, search Refining Perspectives, uh-huh. make sure that you subscribe um, to see more of our content there. Tops, yeah. today bro, you said we're talking about meaning yeah. and that stemmed from the conversation that you had. I remember last week mm. at the end, you were like, next week we're talking about meaning. meaning. And it stemmed from the fact that we said, a resilient mindset is forged through conquering and you know overcoming or mm. rather going through yeah um different trials and tribulations and uh-huh. that's still coming out intact, I- intact. Mm-hmm. so we said a huge part of that means that as people we need to um find meaning, meaning yeah and there's something that i want to really emphasize before we move forth that mm-hmm. before you find meaning externally mm-hmm. you are to find meaning within, within yourself, yourself. Mm-hmm. and that is the best thing that you could ever do for yourself because mm-hmm. when you find meaning within yourself that means that you then experience the world mm-hmm. from a place of self awareness from mm-hmm. a place of confidence in mm-hmm. your own gifts and attributes and, yeah. and and talents as well and you 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 get to actually even narrow down the way that you live yeah yeah the life that you live yeah because you have found your 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 meaning yeah in yeah. life so then it becomes easy to filter out certain things that, that do not belong exactly that are detrimental bro like it, and it, without meaning mm-hmm. in your life it's easy for you to be misinterpreted mm-hmm. even by others mm. yeah but as a result it's easy for others to for you to uphold the opinions of other, other people, people about you mm. yeah but but like an example that i made when we were having this conversation of air mm-hmm. and i said that when i think about meaning i think about a paragraph that you read in english uh-huh. and there's a word that you do not and understand there uh-huh. the moment that you understand that specific word mm-hmm. you then understand the context uh-huh. of the, the paragraph whole the whole paragraph mm. so what does that mean that means that we are only able to comprehend and understand the world mm. and society only when we refine. have come to mm-hmm. you know sort of yeah refine, refine. Mm-hmm. the perspective of who we are, we are exactly. and refine the meaning of who we are and and still speaking exactly about finding the meaning of who we are yeah and therefore hence finding the the purpose of our existence. Yeah, yeah. What then comes along is something that we also talked about last week, the 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 burden of responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Which is actually a a, a gift when you have found meaning. Yeah, yeah. Because you you take when you once you find meaning in your life, you take up responsibility yeah, absolutely. willingly. Right. And it's so it light. It comes a blessing. It's, exactly. it's so light. It's so light. Even actually I I love what you said even when before we went on air. Mm-hmm. You said we actually working backwards now uh-huh. to say that okay, we've spoken about self-discipline. Mm-hmm. But hey, listen. It is so good to have discipline when you have meaning, meaning when exactly. you have found meaning. Yeah. It, it, it's not even burdensome to read up exactly. all night because you know that okay i've got this purpose that i'm carrying mm-hmm. and i need to be a high impact individual and part of that means that i need to invest in myself mm-hmm. so that i can be able to contribute to the lives of other exactly. people and you know um someone once said if you want to was speaking about uh, pornographic addiction okay but if you want to um 
be able to come out of that, yeah, yeah. you need not to look at the pornographic addiction as the problem merely. Yeah, yeah. But you need to look at what is actually happening in your life. Mm. What do I mean? Mm. The reason why you want to quit the pornographic yeah, addiction yeah. is because you have actually come to understand what it has a negative Impact, effect yeah, somewhere in your mm. life. Absolutely. So look at it from that lens. So what you don't just want to quit it in jail. Yeah, yeah. And then you you get to find okay, so the reason why I want to quit it is because I can see another impact, another yeah. impact, another impact. Absolutely. If I continue with this behavior. This is the root. This is the root that, that I will end up with. So you end up now having two things that motivate mm. you mm. to move forward. Yeah. One, you are running away from yeah. that end, end. Yeah, that yeah. you will end up in Absolutely. if a week. Absolutely. And number two, you are motivated about the ideal that you have So for then that means also, instead of just it living in an idealistic state, mm -hmm. you can take both of these points that you've made and think about number three, practically. Whenever you are in a situation where you want to use pornography mm -hmm. as a coping mechanism uh -huh. for you what can you use to substitute that for that for that because mm. here's the thing many people drink alcohol many people do things that they do not want to do mm -hmm. yeah but it's not because they want to do those things yeah but You're, they know how detrimental they, they are, are to them mm. but they just don't find a, a positive substitute exactly the for those, ideal yeah. is not there because i believe that it's the ideal that then will 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 inform even the positive substitute that, that you, you are supposed have to have now. absolutely and i think it's it's really important again to to really find that because l let's take it from perhaps maybe a biblical perspective this yeah. idea of finding meaning yeah because you you you'll hear that even when you are going to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your king and your yeah, savior, the yeah. first thing that needs to happen, you, you need to recognize who you are. Absolutely. You need to come to the truth of who you are. Absolutely. Understand what, hey man, I'm messed up. I'm broken. I'm broken. Yeah. So that you can then accept the ideal of the future. Yeah, yeah. Because then by accepting that, yeah. then you are able to say, here I am yeah. and I no longer want to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what now I need yeah. this person, yeah. the savior, to yeah. take me to the ideal. Speaking and about that idea of a substitute. Yeah. So Absolutely. when you get and the and idea. You know what I even love about the gospel, like mm -hmm. in that sense. It it doesn't even say that this is who you will become. It says that this, this is, is who, who you, you are. are. Exactly. <laughs> and then you're like, what? Exactly. I'm this person mm -hmm. who is undeserving, unworthy. And that's the beauty. And you want Ebo, to keep that. Yeah, Ebo, the, but the identity that you have just now found. Absolutely. You want to keep that. Yeah. And we could say that it is then the meaning. Yeah. So yeah. you are basically running towards yourself. Yeah. You are yeah. running towards yeah. yourself. Yeah. So you're in yeah. you don't want to lose grasp yeah. of what you have already attained in that sense. Hey, listen, yeah. Perhaps <laughs> what we're trying to say is that you have a value intrinsically mm -hmm. that cannot be um, broken or taken away from yes. you. Yes. Yes, you may be broken as an individual. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are so many things that you may have faced. You know, there are so many trials and tribulations you may have gone through. Mm -hmm. There are so many losses that you may have incurred, yeah. you know, unto yourself. And even arbitrary situations that you found yourself in, in that, yeah, you did not deserve. that you did not mm -hmm. deserve. But listen, yeah, one thing that we know is that you are worthy. Uh -huh. You know, you are worthy. You have value, yeah, boy, that cannot be taken away from you. Sure. And upon realizing that value mm -hmm. that you have, you know, that's where the journey of meaning starts starts because once you then get to realize yeah. that value and 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 I believe for me personally it's it's rooted in the gospel let there be something that will, will, will root it for you because here's the thing sometimes we can conceptualize the ideal and and have that idea to know I'm worthy but fail to actually believe it yeah because yeah. I, I, your life yeah. I, is formed by what you believe yeah. about yourself absolutely so the minute absolutely. that you start to really believe the fact that no man I'm worthy you were born for a reason I'm born for you're a reason you're not here to settle for less you are made to be a light bearer you are made to make a difference into this you're not world. here to conform you're not here to conform you are here to bring the wildest dreams of God into this world and like when, when you understand and comprehend all of that mm -hmm. you understand that you don't even have to be perfect for this no no yeah, no no you don't have to be it's perfect not. for it yeah, it's it's actually the journey that gets to perfect you absolutely once you have found absolutely that, the, the the process you go back i'm going towards it yeah you get refined absolutely Ooh, and, and top job i'll, I'll play me bandu on no. this journey yeah but you understand the fact that 
just as you had said in the previous episode, mm-hmm. like with regards to the example that Friedrich Nietzsche made of Jesus Christ, uh-huh. that he went through all of that pain, he went through all of that suffering, uh-huh. and he was not deserving mm-hmm. of a single ounce of it. But, yeah, he, didn't but, blame but he didn't blame anyone, mm-hmm. but instead he chose to love. Mm-hmm. So that speaks to really the segue that I was talking about of forgiveness, uh-huh. that you cannot even be a person that will be a higher impact individual if you cannot forgive sure. you know, those who you have just passed against you. Because I look, I think forgiveness takes takes place in you becoming a bigger person. Absolutely. Without finding meaning, you can't be a bigger uh, person. You can't, you can't. Because sometimes can't. it will even be difficult for you to, because let's take again the example of forgiveness. Because when you, people usually say it like this, unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to, 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 to die. So now when you don't have meaning, you can't even take that moment to examine and actually find out that I'm actually killing myself, that I'm actually killing the other person by no, doing this. Because you know what about meaning, ne? Mm. Meaning is, as much as it's intrinsic, mm-hmm. it's not mostly according to your personal will or desires. Definitely. Yeah, but most of the time, it's according to your highest self, mm-hmm. your highest calling, mm-hmm. your, your, the, 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 your, your almost supernatural being, uh-huh. the person that does not settle for less, mm-hmm. the person that not... Your spirit that, being. Your spirit mm. being, absolutely, mm. the person that's whole. Mm-hmm. So that goes to say that now when you have uh, someone who's found meaning, mm. you then understand that forgiving people is not for them. It's for you. you. It's for you to become the best version of yourself mm-hmm. so that you can be a person that carries light into this world. Wow. Mugele, we're talking about finding meaning. Absolutely. So what do I do now? Yeah. Well, stay tuned in. I hear you guys, yeah. but Kalepi. So please do stay tuned, and after the break, we'll be back with you. In a world where there's so much information, do we know what shapes our ideas? Join Lebo and Musali on Refining Perspectives Exclusive, talking leadership and more on Tuesdays on Radio 537. Welcome back, Mugele Kaya, Mugele Refining perspectives we always bring you uh, those great topics that cause you to think yeah absolutely (laughs) so just before the break we were talking about the importance or in fact we talked about the importance of finding meaning and also the detriment of not finding meaning but there's something that before we go to the practical steps towards attaining meaning that i also want us to 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 talk to yeah it's 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 the adoption of responsibility mm. when it comes to meaning mm. and what how those two they interlink because i personally believe that you can't separate the two yeah. finding meaning and also being someone who adopts responsibility yeah, yeah. and willingly so and yeah. I, I'm, I'm talking about this in the context of knowing the 21st century that we are living in yeah, yeah. where you find that we are we are people who who are see as the Jansuang and their responsibility. Yeah. We we have for the longest of time suffer many overemphasis yeah. when it comes to our rights, our rights, our rights. Yeah. But now we have not been told about the responsibility, which for me, the the rights they, they become empty yeah. without the responsibility. Yeah. Life becomes empty without the responsibility what are you going to because one of the things let's say for instance you talk we talk about adopting meaning and say that you have found meaning and you refuse to take responsibility for that meaning because one of the things that you're going to find once you find your meaning in life yeah. is your purpose yeah yeah and your purpose demands yeah that you take up and some sort you, of a re- uh, of responsibility on that note bro you know what often makes us refuse to take responsibility uh-huh is because we fail to understand that the reason why meaning has been revealed to us, Mm -hmm. right, Mm -hmm. is so that we can serve the world Mm -hmm. with our gifts and our talents, Mm -hmm. with our passions, Mm -hmm. out of love. uh, And and, and on that note, that's why we then inherit this sluggish mentality. Mm -hmm. 
um, we have gifts and we have talents so that we can be praised by people nah. instead of us having gifts and talents so that we can serve. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have the mentality to serve, you understand the fact that you first clean a dish before you give someone something ah. to eat on a dish. Mm. So that means that you are willing to take that responsibility, responsibility. to empower yourself exactly. so that you can be able to empower others as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro? There's, a, there's an old um, sculpture of a man lifting a rock yeah and the the, the basic color when philosophers talk about it they allude that to the search for meaning yeah it would be a human being when they they search for a meaning they can even do that yeah meaning what it's it's much more fulfilling yeah to find out that there is this burden yeah that i can actually displace from this position uh -huh. to the next uh -huh rather than saying what you know i'm just living a life of comfort mm, mm. Yes. so there is that inherent yeah, desire yeah, yeah, yeah. for you know fulfillment yeah. and our yeah. fulfillment does not come yeah. from living just a comfortable uh, life can never. but it comes from us being impactful yeah. even to the lives of other people yeah, being servitude. impactful in our lives mm. serving yeah. and that has to do with responsibility yeah absolutely. so you you can never be a person of high impact yeah but you fail to adopt responsibility yeah absolutely, absolutely. It, it, it's something that's going to be absurd and impossible mm. but now let's talk about meaning what the what on then? this note bro mm -hmm. I, I just want to say then it becomes important for us to differentiate that there are people who are people that we see as high impact individuals but are only replicas of other people mm -hmm. yeah well they're not really living out their own true, true. meaning mm -hmm. they are just living out what they see other people doing mm -hmm. yeah well so the detriment of all of that is the fact that then people then will live hollow lives mm -hmm. yeah well at the end of the day it won't be about the unique giftings that they had to bring into the world exactly yeah, because well, the thing is, finding meaning, one of the things that I believe it does, it creates what you have exactly talked about. Distinct a servi servitude okay, yeah. mindset. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you understand what it basically finding meaning is finding purpose. Yeah. The two interlink. Yeah, absolutely. So then you find that there's something that you are here to do. And are we now? Yeah. So therefore, a mindset of servitude yeah. immediately Takes arises. Places, yeah. And therefore, you no longer do what you do so yeah. that you can be praised. Yeah. But you do what you do so that the... the, the, the you the, may be the, effective. Exactly. The revelation, yeah, perhaps, maybe, yeah, yeah. of the future yeah, yeah. has has you in it doing this can we put it in practical terms mm -hmm. you manufacture a phone mm -hmm. if you have not defined its phone mm -hmm. the phone by it and its features and all the things that it can do or what it is mm -hmm. we won't understand the purpose of the phone mm -hmm. and when we do not understand the purpose of the phone that means we will misuse it mm -hmm. and use it for different reasons, different reasons. but mm -hmm. it's only when you the phone is properly defined mm -hmm. that we then use it properly mm -hmm. but even then we understand with the fact that the phone needs to be defined mm -hmm. that the phone cannot determine itself itself that then nullifies any idea a person can have <laughs> of the fact that um i can determine my meaning for my life no we search for meaning because uh -huh. we have been created and we have been made in an image yeah, well, uh -huh. of god and that means that we need to come to the realization of that image so that we can live out and serve accordingly that's a, that's an important point that you have made there the fact that you can't because this is a common statement but I'm going to kind of like make up and I'm going to make up my own. You can't. Yeah, you can't. You have to find it. Yeah. Because you didn't create yourself. Uh -uh. That's the first principle. Absolutely. And then when you understand that, then you know what there's a purpose for you for being your here. Creation. And and when you and realize it's not reliant on you. On you. But I'm the Avuma or I'm not. But the beauty of accepting it because then i'm taking out something that i did not even choose then how can i find fulfillment but the thing is yeah. if you take 
uh, 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 let's say it's a screwdriver and then you try to use it as a spoon to eat your food you, 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 but it's, it's not fulfilling food. its purpose yeah. it's going to be completely Absolutely. horrible yeah. at that. but if you take a spoon to do what it's supposed to do yeah. it's going to excel it's going so to fit perfectly. it's the same thing if you were created to do this yeah. and you run away from doing this yeah. you will never find happiness and peace fulfillment. and fulfillment in it Gandhi, when you do exactly what you are meant to be doing mm -hmm. what you were born to do what you were created to do then you will find fulfillment and listen yeah what then will happen even the people around you will mm. be inspired you. to chase after the truest nature of themselves mm. so perhaps what we're trying to say with everything to man mm -hmm. and, and leading on to the practical steps yeah, yeah. is to say as people we need to start learning to be happy with ourselves mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. to say that mm -hmm. for me to be happy with my life and who I am it does not need for me to be because that's the common deception mm -hmm. and then what that comes no, with comes with what that comes with comes with a lie of me thinking that I need to clothe myself outwardly mm -hmm. in order to compensate for the for the gap of uh -huh. fulfillment that's within mm -hmm. me. In order for me to be happy, I need to be choose to be happy now. <laughs> and how does that take place? That takes by me. Huh? No, no, I'm just really thinking about this concept that you're talking about of really fulfillment, finding fulfillment within yeah. yourself. And yeah. Let's take again another biblical reference yeah in the garden of eden yeah that that's perfection yeah absolutely but one of the things that they are given responsibility yeah to take and the it. responsibility mm. that they are given gives meaning to their life as yeah, well absolutely so it's impossible yeah. that we can live lives yeah. the way that we are attempting to do now in the yeah. 21st century yeah yeah where we try to say we are going to neglect the responsibility, yeah. yet find meaning. Yeah, it's, it's, it's now. Toban, and, and for me, it just shows that like, there's a lack of understanding. Mm -hmm. yeah, but if someone can say that, because John, the reason why there's a father, mm -hmm. the reason why there's a mother, mm -hmm. is because they can be given different roles. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if they have different roles, they are properly defined. Their roles mm -hmm. are defined. Mm -hmm. And when their roles are defined, that means but they have we different are blaring those lines, go, go, bro. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> As you know, Farel, even under Eba Lekle, but that we need to establish, yeah, but mpula mbukeli ekaya is to say that there is a meaning for your life, mm -hmm. and you won't find it anywhere. You'll find it inwardly. Mm -hmm. But even then, most of the time, it won't be comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. It won't be in your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. It won't encourage you to gratify your flesh mm -hmm. or gratify your desires yeah. Yeah, boy, that are destructive to you. Mm -hmm. yeah, boy. Mm -hmm. But it will be something that will be spirit-filling. Mm -hmm. yeah, it will be something that encourages you to become a better version of yourself. And one, one of the things, that then you know when you have found your meaning as we're going to go to the practical steps is that your meaning and your purpose is never detrimental to the next person. Absolutely, if, absolutely. If it's detrimental to the person next to you, yeah. then that's not meaning. Yeah, that's it's not, not purpose. It's fictitious. Because exactly. And you know what that nullifies? Nullify a lender with our experiences and our traumas. We say, I'm DJ, I'm going to change. Exactly. I can never change. Even if your am, behavior yeah. is a behavior that is detrimental to mm -hmm. the people around you. Yeah. Well, Mbogeli, one just before we close, you want to just touch on a few um, maybe if you want to call them steps that you can try to implement in your life so that you can have maybe a starting point to finding your own meaning and purpose in life. Because I don't think that, you know, Dr. Miles Monroe usually put it, puts it like this, so there's no miserable life than a life that is lived without an understanding of yeah. purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, really dead. it's really important that yeah. you also find your own meaning Absolutely. in life, your purpose that you are here to serve. Bro, do you have that? those... those um... Okay, yes, I actually do. Hey, um, so guys, we'll give you a few steps. The first step is um, we need to learn the lesson on happiness. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I know you've heard it before, right? Um, happiness is a choice, right? It's not about... Yeah, it's not about... Umeza. Umeza, it's not about anyone else. It's about do you choose to be happy? Mm -hmm. And two... Follow your gifts and your talents, mm -hmm. right? Find them. Make sure you write them down and you will follow them, right? Mm -hmm. um, three, make great connections because we also make great mm -hmm. by the people that we have around us. 
And yeah, I, I think really that's something that we really need to note down because it's easy to make connections. We make connections everywhere. Yeah. But the fact that we, we, we need to be, you know, intentional yeah. of making great connections yeah. because the people that are around you, they also have an impact yeah. in how you also fulfill and also find your meaning in yeah. life. And remember, even with connections, mm -hmm. uh, I, like I know with electricity, there's different voltages, mm -hmm. right? Or if I give all in the voltage, you know, we can give all the voltage, and then it's going to burn. burn. Yeah. So now what you need to know as a person that there are certain people that are your class or people that you should gel with. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. And those are the people that challenge you. Yeah. Those are the people that make you want to become a better version of yourself. Mm -hmm. Four is goal setting. Now, when you found those people, you can set like-minded goals, goals. Uh -huh. that you can have as an individual for your life mm -hmm. as well. And they can also encourage you uh -huh. to, reach to them. attain those goals. Five, then you can learn to help others. Mm -hmm. yeah, but in helping others, you're empowering them. Mm -hmm. And that's making you to grow more strong, stronger in your exactly. journey. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, and then the other one is do something different. Yeah, bro. I can know with my sister right now, mm -hmm. she's study season, right? Uh -huh. And like we try, I took a phone. Uh -huh. <laughs> so with that being said, like we're finding new um, ways that she can use that time alternatively. Uh -huh. And also TV, she's not watching my TV. Uh -huh. So we got a coloring book. Yeah. Today I got home and she colored so well, you, you know, in a book. And I asked her, did you know that you could do this? Exactly. And she was like, no. no. So she tried something different and maybe in that something that's different she can derive new meaning in her life and maybe to add the last one in that step yeah reduce the amount of time that you spend watching tv absolutely reduce the amount of time that you spend social media in social media absolutely because it can steal quite a lot when it comes to you finding what is innate in within you, you. Yeah. because all everything that you're going to see on tv everything that you're going to see on the news everything that you're going to see on social media is external to you exactly and it will then try to influence you you will sometimes end up saying i want to be a basketball player but that's not innate absolutely you, but it's in trend absolutely so spend less time and try to spend more time within yourself finding yourself so mugelekai thank you so much for tuning in and up until next time go serve, serve your king, king.